Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be giving you some tips for how to give your clothing website a professional look. The tips I'll be giving you are adaptable for many different types of businesses. So if you sell clothing, makeup, home decor, and more, you can follow the tips in this video. And I'll be giving you some tips for how to customize your contact page, how to customize the blog section of your website, and how to add and customize your footer bar menu links. Let's get straight into this video. The first tip I would recommend for giving your website a high-end touch would be to include a blog section in your website. Including a couple blog posts on your clothing website is a great way to help market your product and to help customers engage more with your website. And for an example, let's say you're selling a black A-line dress. You can write a blog post on five different ways to style a black A-line dress. And in the post, you can include some styling tips and you can also promote that dress so that readers can go and view the product if they're interested. I'm gonna break down how you can create a blog and a blog post. Then I'll be showing you how to add a feature section on the homepage of your website to promote your blog. To get started here on Shopify, you're just going to open your website and once you click online store, you're going to click blog posts. I'm going to click manage blogs and this is where you can create a new blog. Then you're going to click the arrows back and then you're going to click add blog posts. And this is going to be the page where you can start customizing your blog post content. First off, I'm going to set this to visible. This way it will appear in your online store. Then under blog, I'm going to assign that brand new blog that we just created. And under content, this is where you would insert your media and your blog description. You can manually write out your blog post, but I will be using ChatGPT to generate the blog post description for an example. You'll have the option to adjust the text so you can make it larger or smaller. You can put it in bold and italic. And for the sales promotion text, when you select it and then click this link icon, this is where you can insert a link leading straight to that product. So here, as you can see, you can just include some call to action text and you can link those to whichever collection or product you're featuring. Here, I'm gonna be uploading a featured image for the blog post. Then you can insert pictures throughout the blog post. So here, I'm gonna click these three dots. Then I'm gonna click the insert image icon. Once you're done, you can click this view icon to view the final blog post here in your online store. And when you click this arrow back, this is where you can create multiple new blog posts. Next, you're going to want to open your website theme. And this is where you can choose where you're going to want to feature those blog posts here on your website. I'll be featuring two blog posts closer to the bottom of the website. Here's an example of how you can feature these two blog posts. To add that feature blog post section, here you're going to click add section. Then I'm going to import a multi-column. I'm going to remove the heading text. Then I'm going to be removing the button label. Under number of columns on desktop, this is where you can increase the number of columns that is going to be shown. I'll be featuring two blog posts. So I'll be setting the number of columns to two. Next, under column alignment, I'm going to set this to center. When you click on one of these columns, under heading, this is where you can type in the title for that blog post you'll be featuring. Under description, this is where you can insert a little mini description of that blog post. Under link label, I'm going to title this read the full post. Then this is where you can link this to that blog post. Then here is where you can insert an image to represent this blog post. And once you're done, that's how to add the featured blog post section here to your website. I'd recommend keeping this set to the primary color scheme of your website. For the style of this website, I've incorporated a lot of white, black, and also some pops of marble. So you'll want to make sure that those featured blog posts are going to tie right in to your website. By the way, if you are interested in this website I've designed, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I've put together this pre-made Shopify theme template in a downloadable format. This is perfect for if you're looking to save time from designing your website from scratch and for if you want your website to have that professional style and layout. I have many different Shopify theme templates for many types of businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup products, and I also have some for dropshipping and home decor businesses. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're going to receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that theme file into your store. You have many different editing options to change the color tech and to add your pictures and products and again I have many different types for many different businesses a lot of my website bundle also include logo templates web banner templates and more I will link those in my description box below also if you're marketing your business on Instagram I do have some Instagram post templates available on my website these can give your brand's Instagram feed a stylish touch and they are adaptable to fit many different businesses I will link those in my description box as well the next tip I would recommend for adding a luxury touch to your website would be to customize your contact page no matter how subtle, I would definitely recommend adding your own little touch to the contact page. And you also want to make sure that it ties into the rest of your website. Here on Shopify, you'll notice that you will receive a default contact form page. I'm going to give you a few different tips for how you can tweak this page and help it tie into your website. A quick and beginner friendly way that you can add your own touch to this page would be to create a custom title banner. 
Here are the heading. This is going to be your default heading section. I'll just be removing this text. Then I'm going to click add section to template and I'm going to be inserting a rich text section. First off, I'll be removing this button label. And here, this is where you can title the page or you can put some contact details if you would like. And you also have the option to edit the heading size so you can make it smaller or larger. Here under the description is where you can either write a page description or you can insert some of your contact details. Then feel free to customize this text. For a simpler look, I'll just be removing the description. When you click on the rich text, you have the option to reposition the content. Under desktop content position, you can position this off to the left or the right side of the page. And then you can also recenter the actual text. Here under section padding is where you can adjust the padding for this section. Then I'll be adding a subtle ombre background to this section. So here you're gonna click theme settings, then colors. I'm gonna click add color scheme. And this is where you can create a background gradient. For the gradient, I'll be doing the color white. Then I'll be setting the other color to a light gray. I'm gonna click on the rich text and I'm gonna set it to that new color scheme. And feel free to open that color scheme and make any more adjustments to it. And if you'd like, you'd also have the option to change the color scheme of the actual contact form. Another option that you have is a little bit more advanced, and that would be to include a little mini FAQ section on your contact page. This way, before customers send you a question, they might be able to get the answer from your FAQs. All right, so to do that here, I'm just gonna insert a collapsible content. I'm gonna title this FAQs, and you'll have the option to edit the heading size. I'm gonna be adding a row container, then I'm gonna set the container to that new color scheme. Then when you click on one of these collapsible rows, here under heading, this is where you can type in one of your frequently asked questions. Under icon, I'm gonna set this to the question mark icon. Then under row content, this is where you can type in your answer to that question. This way when customers click on one of the questions, they'll be able to see the answer. And once you're done, here is how the section will appear once you add a little mini FAQs section. For an easier transition into the contact form, you can click on the rich text and you can also unselect to make the section full width. This is a great way that you can spruce up your contact form page. Then the last tip I would recommend for adding that professional touch to your Shopify store would be to customize the footer section of your website. You'll want your footer section to include crucial links to important pages in your website and also to just your product collections. And it's also best to add your logo to your footer menu. To customize your footer bar, here on Shopify, you're gonna click navigation. Then you're gonna open your footer menu. Currently, there is just a search link. The first link I'm gonna be adding is a link to the home page of the website. Then I'm gonna be adding a link to all of the collections. After that, you can add links to specific collections within your store. For an example, if you have a bestsellers collection or a new arrivals collection, you can also add a link to your blog or to specific blog posts. Then I'm going to add another menu item. And here, this is where I'm going to be adding a link to the contact page. And if you'd like, you can add a link to your store's policy pages, like your shipping and your returns and refunds policy. Then you're going to open your website and we're going to be laying out the footer bar. When you click on the footer and you click this arrow, here, you're gonna to wanna to click add block and I'm gonna be inserting a menu block. You can choose to link your home menu, your footer menu, or any new menus that you add to your store. You can title this section. I'll just be removing this text. And you wanna make sure that this is linked to your footer menu. Then I'm gonna click add block and I'll be inserting an image block. When you click on this and then click this icon, this is where you can choose to reposition the image. And here, I'm just gonna be uploading the logo. Under image width, you'll have the option to make the picture larger or smaller. And you can also reposition the image off to the left side or closer to the right side of the page. I'll be keeping this centered. And the last section that you can add is optional, but you can add a little mini about us text to the footer bar. So here I'm gonna insert a text. Here under subtext is where you can insert your mini brand description. This can also just be an introduction to your brand. Then you'll have a couple other text editing options up here. Under heading, you can title this Who Are We or About Us. And once you're done, here is how this finished footer bar looks. 
Here is also how the mobile version of the photo menu appears. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. And I have many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.